There are so many videos about how to get your ex back, but this is what nobody's telling you. There are two questions you have to answer and then I'm going to tell you what I think. Every day I see plenty of comments under Law of Attraction videos from people who are desperate to get somebody back into their lives. And these YouTube channels who make content on manifestation will keep making such videos because they know that people are going to click on them. Here's the first question. Are you ready? No, it's not the question. Okay. Why do you want to be with somebody who does not feel that way about you? Let me ask you the same thing in another way. Do you want to be with somebody who does not feel about you the way you feel about them? That was the first question asked in two different ways. Here's the second question. Do you really think that somebody who has already decided that they don't want to be with you will somehow become crazy about you because you're sitting around daydreaming and wishing that it would happen or pretending that it's already happening? Sure, you can manifest your ideal life partner into your life by using the power of manifestation. But how are you going to use the law of attraction to pull back somebody who has already decided that the idea of perfection is something else? You might not be their idea of the right person. So if you want that and only that, why should they settle for anything less? There might be so many people you rejected. Do you think any of them can use the law of attraction to manifest you back into their lives? That is not how manifestation works. That is not how the law of attraction works. And that is not how the universe works. Now I'm going to tell you something that might be hard to accept, but it can set you free in a very big way. This is specifically about trying to get your ex back or pull back somebody who has already left your life. There is no power in the world that can make me go back to somebody my mind and heart are rejected. It doesn't matter how nice and kind or physically attractive they are or even how well we got along. It has to be a complete package. They are either it or not and you are either it or not for them. Everything has to feel right and anything less is a compromise. Is that too hard to accept? Does that sound a bit harsh? <clears throat> I'm leaving my WhatsApp number down here. So, if anyone wants to understand this a bit more in detail, you can send me a message. Okay.